Hi, you lot. Um, last week I gave uh, wrote up a review of Windows 10 Tech Preview and posted that on uh, website Design and Motion. So this week I thought I'd show you AutoCAD 2015 being installed. Now I've already tried this and it works just fine, but there was one interesting point um, that I about Windows 10 that I haven't noticed previously with Windows 8. So I've got the install files, I've downloaded them, I've got them sitting on an external drive. Now this um, this Windows 10 instance here is actually um, running inside a VM. So I've accessed these installers over a shared external drive. So the install could be faster if the install files were sitting on my um, hosts hard drive but uh, anyway they're not so I'll just try this product for 30 days and um, yeah so it's just give me a warning about the memory I'm just gonna let it download and install this service pack quickly if there are any fixes that are related to installs in later later installs on Windows 8 then maybe they're apl applicable to Windows 10 as well so just got the, get that squared away. Um, installing everything else as normal. Got Express Tools, all of these other add-ins that Autodesk like to include. Recap and Autodesk 360. So, got the whole lot being installed to my C drive, 2.67 gigs. I hadn't actually noticed this before because I normally install AutoCAD from the um, product design suite, but with the AutoCAD installer. Um, it actually has these little um, pop quizzes here which is quite nice you'll see those uh, cycle over in a minute but one of the things I noticed was that if there are any prerequisites that the AutoCAD installer needs um, Windows 10 actually picks up on it and steps in and allows you to uh, download and install them now in previous with previous Autodesk installers and Windows 8 You'd normally end up with like error 1603 or something like that and you'd have to open up the log files and have a look to diagnose what the issue is and then go and download and install that prerequisite. So it's nice that this is happening on the fly here. Alright, so now that's all installed, we'll let, um, let AutoCAD carry on installing itself. Alright, so it's coming to an end here. Um, it's been about 10 minutes since I, uh, I paused the video, so not the fastest of installs, but not bad all the same. And that is three separate programs it's installing there, so AutoCAD, Autodesk Recap, and the um, Autodesk 360 Cloud Storage Service. Alright, there we go. So it wants me to restart, so I'll let it do that, and then we'll, we'll when we resume, we'll see if AutoCAD's running okay. Okay, so while I was restarting, my son decided to uh, start blowing his horn, so you can hear that in the background. But here we go, so let's see what happens with AutoCAD. Now it's a, it is a 30 day trial, so we'll get that message at the beginning. And we'll just click past that. Everything seems to be loading okay. And um, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty glad that Autodesk are now forcing that analytics data to come back to them so they can get widespread uh, data from every AutoCAD user about usage and the different areas of the user interface that, that they're using and all the different tools so they can make decisions to improve the product going forwards. Uh, in the past it used to be an opt-in only um, selection so so here we go right everything seems to be working okay as far as basic AutoCAD's concerned the uh, infamous and uh, much loved cursor badges are working just fine everything's glowing okay Yep, and so there it is. All right, so that that's it. AutoCAD at twenty fifteen at least is running just fine on Windows ten Tech Preview. So this is the first build that's available. Um, 
there were there have been a couple of updates installed since but this was like say I've installed this once before already and it was running just fine without those updates as well so um, good luck and uh, have fun cheers bye